going on, hockey fans? My name is Zoe Emerson, and you are watching Season 2, Episode 1 of On and Off the Ice with Zoe Emerson. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the Seattle Kraken, who are slated to make their National Hockey League debut in this coming season, as well as other off-season happenings and some tributes to hockey players that have unfortunately passed away. As you may remember from previous episodes, the Seattle Kraken are slated to, are slated to debut in the 2021-2022 NHL season. The Kraken are the very first professional hockey team located in Seattle since the Seattle Totems of the Western Hockey League in 1975. The Kraken will, will be playing in the Pacific Division of the Western Conference of, of the National Hockey League. Their, their new arena, Climate Pledge Arena, the, the world's very first zero-carbon emissions arena and sports venue, is slated to open in October of 2021. The, the Seattle Kraken picked one player from every team in the 2021 NHL expansion draft. S some notable selections include Mark Giordano, the former captain of the, of the Calgary Flames, as well as Brandon Tanev and Hayden Fleury. Dave Haxtell was hired a, as the Kraken's head coach, and Haxtell is known for coaching the Philadelphia Flyers from 2015 to 2019. Now, the Seattle Kraken's... Um, American Hockey League affiliate has not begun play yet and will not begin play until 2022. This new team will be located in Palm Springs, California. Un until the team begins play, the Kraken will share an affiliate with the Florida Panthers, which are the AHL's Charlotte Checkers. The Seattle Kraken are off to a promising start in the preseason, having defeated the Calgary Flames 4-3 in a shootout in their very first game on September 29, 2021. There have been several different events that have occurred over this past offseason, but do not fear because I will break down everything for you all today. The league is set to return to the previous conference and division al alignments, meaning that there will be no more all-Canadian team division. These divisions were a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, which completely altered the course of the 2020-2021 of the NHL season. The remote NHL draft was conducted on July 23rd and July 24th with the Buffalo Sabres' first overall pick selecting Owen Power of the Chicago Steel. The Arizona Coyotes, Buffalo Sabres, Columbus Blue Jackets, Montreal Canadiens, and New York Rangers are starting fresh with new coaches. However, some of these coaches served as interim coaches this past season. The Arizona Coyotes received the notification that, that after this coming season, they will be e evicted from their home arena, Gila River Arena, located in, in, in Glendale, a suburb, of, a suburb of Phoenix, Arizona. This may lead to the possibility of relocation. However, the Arizona Coyotes have stated that they are actively wishing to stay in Phoenix, in the Phoenix area. Speaking of new arenas, the New York Islanders' new arena, UBS Arena, has officially opened up and will serve as their brand new home. This arena, located in, in Belmont Park, New York, replaces Nassau Coliseum and Barclays Center as the New York Islanders' home. Free agency began on July 28th and still continues on today. However, the frenzy has most certainly passed by now. The regular season is slated to start on October 12th, and we look forward to see who's going to win the Stanley Cup this year. We here at On and Off the Ice are very saddened to present the following tidbits of news to you. On July 4th, 2021, Latvian Columbus Blue Jackets goaltender Matisse Kilvaniex was killed in a fireworks accident. Additionally, on August 21st, three junior hockey players, Ronan Sharma, Parkner Magnuson, and Caleb Reimer were killed in a car accident. And on August 23rd, former NHLer Jimmy Hayes, the brother of NHLer Kevin Hayes, passed away of unknown causes, leaving behind a newborn son. Our condolences go out to the families, friends, and fans of all of those who have been taken from us far too soon. Some great news comes out of the National Hockey League, as it has been announced that three outdoor games will take place in the, in the coming season. These games include the Winter Classic, the Stadium Series, and the Heritage Classic, all of which are, are going to be held in 2022. Some more good news came out of the National Hockey League, as NHL players were, have finally been permitted to play for their respective countries in the, in the Olympics. 
The players will report after the All-Star Game to Beijing, China for the 2022 Olympics. The 2022 NHL All-Star Game is set to take place in Las Vegas in February of, obviously, 2022. I hope you guys all learned something new today, and peace out, hockey fans!